Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sporty text swash in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're here in Adobe Illustrator, and now we're going to come up here to Create New. We'll come over here to Print, and then choose Letter, and then come down here to the bottom right to Create. All right, now first we're going to make the text. So let's hit T on our keyboard, and we'll click once. And I'm just going to type dragons. I'll get on my selection tool and just drag a corner and hold shift and make this a lot bigger. And we'll just move it over here into the center of the page. And I'm going to make this a script font because those really work well with the swashes. So let's come up here and choose brush script. Brush script is a good one because it's on almost everybody's computer. You can choose any version of it. Let's hit N on our keyboard to get to our pencil tool. And now I'm going to start up here where the S ends and just kind of draw a little swoosh that goes right under here like this. Okay, and now I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to give that a white fill and a black outline. Now we don't really need the white fill, so let's come down here to none and get rid of that. So we just have a black outline and it's very thin. It's only one point, but we don't need to worry about that because we're going to make this wider with the width tool. So to get to the width tool, hit shift W on your keyboard and it'll take you over here to this width tool right here on your toolbar. Okay. Now we can get on this last dot and just click and pull out. Okay. That might be a little bit thick. Let's go just a bit thinner maybe to here. And then I'm going to zoom in over here by hitting Z on my keyboard. That'll bring me to the zoom tool and then just drawing a box around this area over here. Okay. So I want this to kind of line up with this and we can really modify this a lot later. So it doesn't really matter how it looks, but I want at least the thickness to look almost about as thick as the letters here. So I'm going to get back on my width tool with shift W. And this part looks pretty nice up at the top, but down here is where I need to move this to. So I'm going to hold option or alt on a PC and click here and just drag this down. And that only moves one side of your stroke to make it bigger. The other side stays the same. Now I'll command minus to zoom out and see what we have. All right, it's looking really great. So now if we hit command Y or control Y on a PC, You'll see that this is just one line here, even though it looks really thick in our normal mode, hit control Y or command Y again to get back to that. You can see the difference there. So this is actually just one little line. So we want to expand this so that we can kind of manipulate it a little more. So let's go up to object, expand appearance. And this has changed it into a fill, which is exactly what we want. All right, now I'm going to select everything with command A and I can see that my text is still live text. So I'm going to hit shift command O to create outlines on that. You can also go up here to type and create outlines. It's grayed out because there is no type anymore. I just outlined it. And now I'm going to get my group selection tool. If I use my regular selection, it gets the whole word. So I'm going to come over here to my group selection tool. And now I can just get each letter individually. I'm going to increase the size of this by hitting V on my keyboard and then just grabbing a handle and holding shift. We'll just move this down and over like that. And these are all just things that I think look nicer. So if you like the way yours looks right now, you don't have to change it, of course. So let's hit Z and zoom in and really take a look at some of these letters. I'm using my space bar to get to my hand tool and then just looking at everything right here. It doesn't look very nice because it's not connected. So let's hit A on our keyboard and click this and move it up like this. I'll continue with my space bar moving this. I see another one right in here. I'm using my A tool, my direct selection to select that piece and then uh, moving it. Okay. So my text is looking pretty nice now. So I'm going to click it 
and I'm also going to hold shift and click our uh, swash tail. And now I'll go to my Pathfinder tool. If you don't have your Pathfinder up or any of these windows, you can find them under window. So if we go to window Pathfinder, it's right here and it'll put it somewhere on your screen. Okay. So let's get this first shape mode and we'll just click that. That's the unite. And that has united all of this into one piece. And you can kind of see that this tail area is a little bit rough. So let's hit in on our keyboard and then hold option or alt to get the smooth tool. The smooth tool is also under here. So we could hit shift S. This is just how I usually get to it. I just use in and option, but smooth tool is right here. So if that's not working for you, I think that is something you might need to set up. So uh, if it's not working for you, shift S will. And we'll just kind of go over the edges and smooth them out with that smooth tool. Now, whatever you're smoothing has to be uh, selected. So right now we kind of, we have this piece in here selected, but we don't have this up here. So I'm going to hit A on my keyboard to get to my direct selection tool and select this piece and then get back on shift S, which is our smooth tool and just kind of go over this a little bit. Whoops. And that looks pretty nice. Okay. I'm going to command minus and zoom out. All right. This looks pretty great, but I think I'd like to round these corners a little bit. So I'm going to get on my a tool, the direct selection tool and just select these two points. So these will turn blue. The others are white. And then I get these little nodes inside and these are round corner nodes. So I'm just going to click them and pull in. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to undo. I don't want them quite that far. Maybe like this. Yes, that looks great. Okay. Now this R, um, I'll fix that a little bit. I'm going to just select that with my direct selection tool, just those two points and move those down a little bit. I'm picky about my R's. Okay. There we go. Move these in and I'll command minus. And I think we are ready to skew this. So I'll hit V on my keyboard to get to my selection tool and I'll select dragons and then I'll hit E. E is the free transform tool and this will allow me to get on a corner and you can see what it changes the cursor to kind of like a weird arrows thing. I'm going to click right on the middle handle. And as I'm clicking, I'm going to hold shift so it can just go straight up like that. And that is it. That's our dragons with a sporty text swash. And now we're ready to slap this on a t-shirt and hit the ball field. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and then the little bell next to it. And you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.